In this video, I want to introduce you to Insightful. This is a new search tool that is available that has two different tools in it. The first one allows you to discover new papers relevant to a paper you're interested in. And then the second one allows you to see how two papers are connected with each other. So I'm going to dive into the first one real quick. So I'm going to go over and get the DOI of my first published paper. And I want to see what kind of papers it brings up that would be interesting for me to look at according to this tool. So all I have to do is paste my DOI in here. You can also use the paper's title or you can even import in a bib text file with that bibliographic information in it. So now I can search and when I search it gives me my paper up here, the authors of my paper, how many it is cited by, how many it's cited, the year it was published, if it's open access or not, and these are the different statistics that are within the graph itself. Up here you can also see the journal and the DOI that I pasted in. And if you're struggling with even how to figure out how to find your first paper, you can use my 30 day research jumpstart guide. I will leave that down in, as a link in the description below for you to figure out what your keywords would be and how to actually start finding your first paper and coming up with your first idea. Now this section here is all related to the graph below. So you can add in filters to filter out papers that don't meet specific keywords and you can use Boolean logic in this keyword section here. You can also look for the min and max distance of those papers to each other and the years they were published. And finally on the right, you can add papers to the graph. So if there's more papers you're interested in, like in Research Rabbit, if you have a collection, you could add those papers to the graph. And it even says down here to find the most relevant, they recommend that you add at least five papers to the graph to be able to see what's happening. So this is really similar to a lit maps or a connected papers or even a research rabbit. So this is the graph that we are looking at here and we can use this to actually go full screen and see the full graph here. So you can see that there are different sections of this graph because it is network analysis. So a lot of these sections are probably going to have very similar themes in it. This looks like IM Mobility and CCS information as well, probably different sections of IM Mobility. And then as we come over here, we're starting to see more practical uses of IM Mobility and how it's being used. And then in here, we're seeing mainly IM Mobility and its relation to steroid analysis in this section here, which are all my actual papers over here. And so you can actually start seeing the different themes that are emerging and how closely related they are to each other. Now I'm gonna exit out of the full screen mode, but you can see here are these four papers that I wrote that have cited this one, and you can see some other different types of papers as well. So you can actually look at all these similar papers down here. So these papers cite the same paper as your paper, and it does tell you that these are most likely gonna be the newer papers in the field. So you can see kind of my papers appear up here, and then you can see other papers in the field as well. And if you click on any of these, it's going to show you its map and how it's connected together. So you can kind of see the different links that connect between the two that cite this paper as well. And then down here you have the most important papers. So these are tend to be the papers that are cited the most, which means they're usually older papers and more literature reviews than they are recent research papers. And then on the right hand side, you see different review papers that they have as well that cite the most papers in the graph. So they may not be relevant to your specific thing, but if you use the filters above, you could more likely get more relevant data. They then have the recent papers by the top 100 authors that are in that graph. So what are the most recent papers that are getting published and what are the most important recent papers? So these are the papers that are going to be cited a lot more, but are actually more recent than just the ones that are overall cited the most. And then finally down here, we get other data. So we get the top authors in this field, we get the top institutions in this field and the top journals in this field. This journal area might be a really good area if you're trying to figure out where you should be submitting papers. If you look at a paper that's really similar to yours, some of these journals might be really good for yours as well. 
So this is overall kind of the basics. You you can go in and add with any of these purple circles, you can add papers to the graph. So if I added in a review that I did, it's gonna pop up down here, add papers. And if I click it, it's going to redo my graph. It'll show me the papers that are included in it up here. And it's going to recreate my graph. So you see this has a lot more recent work in it than previously. If you didn't know, the color of your circles here are relevant to the year that they came out. So the lighter purple they are, the longer it's been since they've come out, and the darker purple that they are, the more recent the paper is. I'm just scrolling with my mouse scroll. You can kind of see the different work that's been published. And then you see this steroid analysis again, and then you can see it switches over into glycan over here. So overall, this video is just to give you an introduction into Insightful. I will probably do, be doing multiple other videos about the different features that are available in Insightful as well. If you're interested in something like Connected Papers or Research Rabbit, I will leave some video tutorials on the screen now for you to be able to watch and learn more about other similar types of software. If this video is helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for more techniques and tools for how to become more efficient in your research. And I hope to see you in the next video.